I started music when I was about six years old. My father was a music teacher in high school, school band uh, director, and he played the trumpet. So I, I started on the trumpet, and then I went to the recorder. I wanted to play the saxophone, so the, the music teacher at the school where I was said, well, you know, all the saxophone players start in the clarinet. So I started in the clarinet, but I didn't know, like the clarinet very much, and I was not very good at it. <laughs> and one day my father brought home a flute from my mother, because my mother wanted to play the flute. Oh. So, um, and you know, she was trying on her own, and she had difficulty producing sound. So one day I said, oh, let me just try it. And I picked up the flute, and I was able to make a sound right away, which frustrated my mother. <laughs> <laughs> But then I thought, hmm, this is not such a hard instrument. And I started playing the flute. I was still um, playing saxophone in the high school uh, jazz band, but I started also taking flute lessons. And at some point, my flute teacher said, you know, you probably should decide whether you want to play the flute or the saxophone, because with the saxophone, you have the embouchure in your mouth, and it's, it's very different. Um, from playing the flute and um, so at some point I probably when I left high school I decided to uh, concentrate on the flute so that's it was a, I started a little bit by you know by accident it's not somebody I had heard that I thought oh I want to play like this and uh, as a matter of fact I think it took me about two years after I started playing the flute, until I heard a recording, and I remember it was Jean-Pierre Rampal playing a Mozart sonata. And uh, so that was a, a revelation. And then in my hometown, it was a small town, there was an amateur orchestra, and my father played trumpet in that amateur orchestra, and they always had trouble finding flute players. And my father said, you know, if, if the flute is a pretty rare instrument, I think if you persist on the flute, you'll be able to find work, because not, not many people play the flute. So I started playing in the, in the amateur orchestra, and I started taking lessons. I lived in a town that was about an hour and a half south of Montreal, and I would take the bus on Saturday morning and go take flute lessons in Montreal. And it, what's interesting is that the flute teacher at the conservatory had been in school, because my father went to that conservatory as a student, they were both classmates. So he knew him, and he said, you know, this man is a wonderful teacher. And he was. He said, uh, you know, you should take lessons with him. So every Saturday, I would go uh, take the bus, take the lesson, and come back. And then once I finished high school, I went there full time. And I was there for, I think, four years after high school until I, I, I graduated. And in the summer, I would go to um, uh, a summer camp that was half an hour from my hometown called Orford. Mm -hmm. And my father had gone there as a student. It started in the early 50s, so it's almost 70 years old. So I went there for three summers. And I met students from all over the place. Uh, it, it was a jeunesse musicale uh, organization, so there were teachers coming from Europe, students coming from all the oh. French-speaking countries, you know, Switzerland, oh. France, uh, a number of, of different countries. And <clears throat> there was a, a girl I, I met there who was a flutist. She was from the northern part of Quebec, but she graduated a year before I did. And she went to Europe, I'm not sure at whose suggestion, and she went to study with Auré Nicolet. So during my last year uh, in Montreal, she wrote to me and she said, you know, this, this, this is a wonderful teacher. Uh, you should, you know, maybe you should audition for his class. So she sent me all the papers. It was in Germany, so the papers were all in German. I didn't know any German, so she helped me. She translated, you know, a lot of, I sent the forms. And then at the end of this, in the, the school year, when I graduated, I went in the summer to take some classes, uh, master classes in France and England. And then I auditioned in, um, in September for Aurélie Nicolet's class, and I was lucky enough to be accepted mm -hmm. in his class. So that was 
you know, uh, that was wonderful. And I, I spent two years with him. And then I went to, to Geneva to study with Maxence Larieux, who is a wonderful uh, French fruitist who's still alive. Mm. He's, uh, let's say, he was born in 34, so he would be 80. 85. He's going, right. to be, he's going to be 85, yes. But he still plays and a wonderful uh, player. So that's, it, it was it was very interesting because I, you know, I traveled a lot and met a lot of people. And uh, it's a, that's one thing about music that's so wonderful, I think, because you get to, to meet people, you get to travel. It's, you know, the world is really open to you and it's... Uh, it's not like working in an office where, you know, sometimes, you know, people say, oh, you're a musician, you're so lucky because, you know, when we travel, we go on tour, you know, those people you know, are in the same job all the time and we would love to have <laughs> the chance to travel and, and we do travel a lot. Ron Powell came to New York and he actually did, the second concert of Lyric was um, two events he did in one day. One was a master class and at uh -huh. night he performed. Wow. And then I had also interviewed him at the new school. I have a tape with him. Mm -hmm. We'll have to talk about that. Yes, I'd love, to, I'd love to hear that. Yes. Um, but one question I once asked him, and I asked Galway. People said Mozart didn't like the flute, uh -huh. and Galway brushed it off. And Rampal went into a lengthy discussion about how the magic flute was written, how the flute piece was commissioned, and what happened. So it was a very profound answer as to clearly the Mo Mozart loved the flute. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I think what he didn't like, and he's supposed to have said, what's worse than one flute? 